Oh. Oh yeah. Popcorn. Today I'm going to be painting buttered popcorn. Who doesn't love buttered popcorn? And I'm going to be painting this painting right here to be exact. So come along with me and let's get started on the painting. I'm going to have a few hints and tricks on how to do the painting itself along the way. Hope you guys enjoy. I think there are three things that are very important to every piece of artwork, and I call them my three C's of art. And those three things are composition, contrast, and color. And I'll try to go over those things a little bit throughout this painting. With composition, especially within this piece, in particular you have the placement of the popcorn you have the placement of the bag of popcorn and then you have the placement of the little pieces of popcorn throughout the piece so you want that one main subject of the painting maybe that somebody will look at first but then you want those pieces of popcorn to allow the eye to flow up and through the paintings so, so that people will look at the whole piece Then you have contrast, and that really just means the contrast between tonal values. So from the darks to the lights. And you'll see this within the popcorn itself, the little pieces of popcorn. You'll see how I put the shadows or the shading into that popcorn, and then I hit it with those highlights of the whites and the very light yellow colors to give the popcorn a three-dimensional look. And then you have color, and these colors look good. It looks good enough to eat, one person said. And color is very important, but that color of that red is very strong. It's a vibrant color, and it pulls your eye directly towards it immediately. But then you have that background color that's soft and gentle on the eye and then you have the popcorn and if everything works good within those three C's your eye will go throughout the whole painting hopefully The best tip I think I can give while painting popcorn is to get that color, that mid-tone color for your popcorn that creates those little crevices. It's kind of impressionistic style looking, but it really does make a huge difference. It makes the popcorn look realistic. So you do the mid-tone or even a dark tone color and then right beside that, you can hit a highlight with some white or some of that very light yellow color that makes that buttered popcorn stand out. It's going to make that look kind of three-dimensional. So I went in here with a black outline for the popcorn but this is in no way necessary. You can just leave it without that black outline. This is just something that I'm experimenting with and trying to like find my own style within the piece. I 
I am going to be writing a small book on my three C's of art, those three C's of art that I just discussed earlier. It's just going to be something small. I can set it up in a PDF file and just give it out to you guys for free for like subscribing to the channel or something. I really hope you guys found value in this video and you will hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you can comment on this video and tell me what you think about it. Hit the like if you liked it and hit that notification bell to get notified of the next video. Thanks a lot, guys. Now let's go ahead and take a look at those money shots. I really do appreciate you guys taking a look at the video. Thanks for watching.